What's going on guys, T-Mart here. Welcome to another episode of the Black Ops 3 Gun Guide. This is a series where I go through all the guns in Black Ops 3, breaking them down for you guys in three minutes less, giving you guys only the most important stats, tips, and recommended class setups to help you guys do better in Black Ops 3. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the ICR Assault Rifle, which I think is actually a very, very solid weapon, and I feel like a lot of people overlook it, so who knows, you may find a new favorite in today's video. So, uh, before we get started with the actual stats and breakdown of the weapon, I do want to let you guys know this gameplay here is against bots, so unfortunately right now, PlayStation Network is down. It's been down for like four or five hours. I've been waiting for it to come back up, and at this point, I just I had to play against bots because I wanted to get the video up for you guys today, so uh, I'm sorry about that. I'll try not to do that again in the future but anyway starting off here with the iron sights of the ICR they're actually not that bad I kind of teeter-totter with this weapon like sometimes I like running a red dot sight or a reflex sight as it's called in this game sometimes I don't feel like I need it I don't know it's all about personal preference but these iron sights are definitely not bad moving on to the damage this is where this thing is kind of unique so it does 30 damage up close 29 damage at medium range and then 24 damage at long range making this thing a very consistent four to five shot kill weapon so uh you know most weapons in this game it's like three to five shots or three to six shots or four to six shots or something like that there's kind of like a, a big difference in between being at short and long range with the icr that's not the case. It's just a, a simple four to five. So it's a very consistent killing weapon and it feels pretty good in your hands. Like it's not the strongest weapon in the game. Don't get me wrong. Like there are other weapons that'll outshoot it in three shots, but it's just a very consistent, fantastic medium range weapon, which is uh, where this thing kind of excels. Now I'm uh, moving on to the rate of fire. This thing shoots at 600 RPM, which is uh, about in the middle of the assault rifles, maybe a little bit under middle, but uh, it's definitely respectable. And uh, then for the recoil, it's actually extremely Extremely, extremely good. Like, I, I really like the recoil on this weapon. It doesn't move around too much, and it really kind of reminds me of the ACR from, like, Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 and stuff like that. It's a slightly lower damage weapon that's highly accurate, especially at full auto, which is uh, is pretty good. Now, moving on to the magazine size, 30 in the regular mag, 42 with extended mags, which is about average for the assault rifles, and then reload speed is nothing special. Two seconds if you have ammo left in your mag, 2.6 if it's completely empty. Now, moving on, let's talk about attachments on this weapon because this is where you can get a little bit creative so uh, starting off as I said sometimes I will run an optics like a reflex sight or something like that you guys can try that out if you want to but as for actual attachments quick draw fantastic on this weapon aiming down sight quickly getting shots on target that's always important on pretty much every gun in the game grip is also actually really really good in this weapon so you guys can see grip makes a pretty big difference on the ICR it seems to be a bit bigger than some of the other weapons so grip is super solid on it suppressor is also a a pretty good option so because this thing is a four to five shot kill it's really not as affected by the like range nuke that the silencer does like the silencer really really hurts your range but really I mean at the worst case scenario it's adding one more bullet so it's not quite as affected as some of the other guns in the game so suppressor is actually a very very good attachment on this weapon and then finally last but not least rapid fire is actually also a very good attachment on this weapon so you guys can see the difference between the normal ICR and the rapid fire ICR in terms of recoil really isn't that big of a difference so throwing rapid fire on and being able to put more shots down range and hopefully more shots on target is definitely a good option for this weapon so uh, yeah there you guys have it that my friends is the ICR in Black Ops 3 I think it's a pretty fantastic weapon I encourage you guys to check it out and give it a shot if you haven't already thank you guys so much for watching I really do appreciate it leave comments down below with which weapon you guys want to see me break down next thumbs up if you guys enjoyed and make sure you guys check out these two videos on the screen if you haven't seen them yet thanks for watching guys peace out